Hello, this is Neil there, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. Last time, we found out some mysterious things are going around, on around Vent Branch Meadows. And now I have to go kill some skeletons, because reasons. Oh, it's not. Oh, go kill skeletons, because put them to their final rest. It's, eh, they're kind of annoying me, just go kill them. Also kill this guy, because he's a, he's a thing. Christian must be on the same quest somewhere, and either they're heading to Tamtar. There's the enemy I was looking for for my hunting log. Ah, I thought they might be here, but I'm like, no, there's only skeletons there. Teach me to listen to myself, or not listen to myself. Oh, that could be why I'm not doing so much damage. I never put it back on after I did Cure in the last episode. I was wondering why shit was taking so long to die. Let's just grab these real quick. It shouldn't take too long. Now that I actually have my stance on, Cleric stance, Why do they call them stances anyways? I mean, it's not like I'm standing in a different position. That's what a stance is. I mean, I guess, uh, now that I think about it, fencing has various stances. But, so I guess it could be kind of like that, but I'm not exactly sure what a cleric stance would look like. And, but I do assume a warrior would look different in whether he's in the DPS or the tanking one stance. Anyhow, you know, there's a few other jobs with stances, but that's besides the point. It'd be nice if these things just let me level up on them. Or if I could cast Cure on them, or Raise. I have Raise now. I might even have Raisins! Actually, I do now that I think about it. I should use those. I should probably use that too. I can never, just never go through here and do my mail. Alright, food, food, food should be up here. Raisins! There, I'm well fed. That's for the plus 3% experience. So, it's for what it's worth. Just do it. And one more, one more, one more of each, by the way, specifically. Ooh, that put me a lot closer to level. Yeah, I'm surprised I never paid much attention to the hunting log on my first class. It's like, all the main quests are sending me to areas where they are. So it's like, how could I miss them? I know all the classes get different ones, but... And I know, like, I don't, I don't know if it's true for the, um, classes, but I know the the, um, 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 what's it called? Grand companies have their own individual logs. So small feet to face the walking dead. The road is much safer now, thanks to you. That's not a natural thing for the fall and the rise again. In such great numbers. Those who perish in calamity deserve to rest in peace. Yet something, something or someone has roused them from their slumber. I would bet someone. Ash Radical. I will take it. Ash, why you gotta be so radical? Here is often linked. Uh, once you visit the hedge tree. I have another task for you, adventurer. I need you to head to the hedge tree to the southwest of here and speak with Hero Lan Liani. 
Tang to the head tree, the hero was scheduled to board a boat from the mirror points. Well, the vessel's departure time is coming gone, but there's still no sign of her. Knowing how absorbed the hero becomes in her work, I am not unduly concerned. Armel, however, was responsible for organizing Leonie's transportation, and is likely wondering if her wayward passenger is ever going to arrive. Perhaps a gentle reminder is in order? Fine. I'll meet you there. Hello, Liani. You're at this weirdly looking tree. Yes, what trapeze my dear? Ah, yes, the boat. I had quite forgotten. Hmm? Oh, my task with the head tree is well and finished, but the elemental's murmur of the malevolent presence in the vicinity of the Tamtera deep grove. I must abide a while longer, that I might better define the source of the elemental's distress. Please inform our mill that I shall be late in arriving. Well then. That's all I had to do there. I guess I'll meet you back at... Well, not back at, but I'll meet you there. And here we are at the mirror planks, talking to Armel. You bear a message from here, Leonie? An evil presence in the deep crop? Well, that does sound grave indeed. Get it? Because there's graves there. I shall organize the vessel for a later time, then. Perhaps a bell for now, too? Better make it three, just to be safe. Thank you for your trouble. Hard leather light mitts. Why do they keep giving me all the quests? Well, because they're quest givers, that's why. Lights out. I'm out at the near points of seeking a valiant adventure, slay martial lights. I'm told the adventurers are valiant heroes who fight the thumb. Their thumbs at danger and scoff at the face of death. Do such rumors hold any truth? I certainly have to do, for I would ask you if the prince keepers known as martial lights. They began appearing in this area not long after Calamity. Now, night after night, the creatures that sail ever, the only thing they come across with showers of fiery sparks. I seem fond of planes, I dare not build a fire for fear of drawing them upon me. I'm sure to think how much worse it would be for poor hearers. Her duty requires that they oftentimes travel at night, you see. They can scarce make do without their lanterns. But as the Marshalites fond this for planes, it may yet prove their downfall. In this pot, I have placed a smoldering coal. Use it to start a fire at Lilystone and lure the creatures to you, putting them down as they arrive. Ah, yes, and be aware of the local, uh, wildlife as you might, as you make your way to Lily Step. There's really only one bit of wildlife to be concerned about, and that's the arbor buzzards. But you have to get all the way to Lily Stone, which is all the way down this little path. If you sprint, well, you're probably better off than if you didn't sprint. So there are like four of them on that I that part of the thing. So I need to kill probably at least two of them. Death to the buzzards! Let's put the coal on the fire. Flame from your fire to flicker and dance. You sense a hostile presence. If I hide behind this thing, I should be fairly safe from that last vulture. Besides, it's not like they're hurting me much anyways. They're level 9 after all. No, I could probably just DOT them to death. Which is, if, you might, if you've noticed, I have put DOTs on them. Well, one DOT. Okay, let me just do a little cheer up before I sprint. Always want to be full health when you sprint because you never know and that's not the right way. You never know when you'll take a wrong turn. Or get trapped on something. Or take a wrong turn and get trapped on something. But at least it's not that far, so I don't see any real reason to cut this little bit of travel back out. So it's not like I can't just sprint again in whatever seconds it takes. Should be almost done with this part of the chain. I should be hanging back to Bent Branch. Marshalites are no more! 
I witnessed the extinguishing their lights at Lily Sands like Howard here in the darkness. Suddenly, say I may even muster to start a cooking fire again. It's not a reward great enough to express my gratitude, but this will have to suffice. Thank you, my lady. Hmm. 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 I'll take it. That's the same one I have. No, that's not. Salvaging the scene. Armel, look what Mirapunks wishes you to salvage cargo from a wreckage on the road. Why you assist me with another matter, my lady? A wagon that departed from Quarry Mill is overturned on the road when some large, ill-tempered forest beast chose that moment to defend its territory. By Nefka's grace, the driver escaped without serious injury, but the wagon's cargo was not so fortunate. With none willing to risk another encounter with the creature, I can only assume the goods remain strewn across the land where the incident occurred. Simply follow the road here to the south and you should come across the wreckage. Salvage what cargo you can, deliver it to Keith at Bent Branch Meadows if you would be so kind. Okay, so, yeah, basically, get shit, go back to Bent Branch Meadows. Which will be easy, all we have to do is go get shit and hit return. I don't know if you have to fight anything. I'm going to assume you have to fight something. I was right! That happens sometimes. Lumber Toad! Oh god, I hate toads. I hate toads almost as much as I hate toad. Who likes toad anyways? Who the hell ever plays this toad? If you get Toad, you're probably the last person to choose your character in uh, New Super Mario Brothers. Whichever version. So, yeah. Ah, what did I say? What did I just say? Return. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that the one where we had the Roselet Seeds won't be too long if it's not just one quest. Did you have any trouble getting them seeds? Let's see here. One, two, three. Yep, that is the, the full six. And that's big ones too. We'll squeeze some good oil out of these. I still don't have a clue what's been on some of the birds, but whatever it is, hopefully the rest of the oil will help calm them down a bit. And the body. I'm replacing these things faster than I can keep them. Ooh. You have delivery for me? Ah, this is the shipment I was waiting on from Quarry Mill. Heard the wagon around. I found with some great monstrosity just left the bathroom and the airplanes. I see you managed to scrape together a few bits and pieces. Seems I can't get through two bells these days without hearing some new tale of horrors in the deep crop with bandit cutthroats prowling the woods hereabouts. Makes me wonder if the chocobos are safe at night, it does. Forever in the adventure still, I hope you'll be around and lend a hand. Don't worry, I won't. Hmm. No, no melee option. I already have plenty of ethers. Yeah, I think I'll have to go back here. No, oh please, guys, no. Play his egg. Audrey, you must help me. I stepped out of the stables for but a moment, and when I returned, it was gone. I, what was gone? An egg. Sorry, you're sure the chocolates will lay another? Yeah, you do not understand. This egg is extremely valuable. I must find it. Are you that hungry? Leia's legacy. Blah, 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 blah. You will help me, won't you, Audrey? Oh, thank you, thank you. Someone must have made off of it. There can be no other explanation. I shall scour every elm of the staple once more just to be sure. While I do this, I should be very grateful if you would ask the others if they notice anything unusual. Hey, have you noticed anything unusual? Your face? Oh wait, that's if they were asking me. See anyone acting suspicious? I most certainly did last. A man that was running off toward Tamterra Deepcroft. Didn't you say an egg was took? I'd say that there was your culprit. Why would anyone take a chocobo egg? Well, proper learning is damn near impossible to get one to hatch. Is it really that hard? I mean... Get Chocobo to sit on it. Wait. 
Chocobo had guys gone missing? <laughs> well, let me think. Now you mentioned the Chocobos were making quite a racket earlier. So much of them, in fact, I, that I ran over to check on them. I was finding a passing peddler in my haste. Didn't find anything out of the ordinary, though. Hmm? Can I describe the peddler? Hmm, he was an elegant fellow. Didn't recognize his face. Seemed aw awfully twitchy. Oh, God, you don't think he... What the hell did I cost him? Well, you know. Lawsuits. Because lawsuits suck. Yeah, that... That room must be from the Halloween event. I'm going to have to do that whenever I'm done with my recording session. I try to do all the events. I think I've only missed one since I've started playing. And that was just me being a little bit busy. I see any odd characters about, aside from yourself, you mean? Not that I recall. I did see someone climbing the birds, but only from a distance. I assume it was Luke a lot. Say he was away from the stable at the time, then who was that with the trucky bus? Hmm. Mm -mm indeed. Back to Lokoyot. Lokot? Loklok? I don't know. Colorado Cat. That name sounds familiar for some reason. I've been having this weird thing with names being familiar lately. Player names, I mean. It's like, I know them from somewhere. There can be no mistake then, the egg was indeed stolen. And from what you've told me, this was no simple robbery. That the culprit should only take Leia's egg and disregard all the rest tells me you were dealing with someone well versed in trick bookery. I'm sorry to say the individual in question is likely to be a citizen of my native Ishgard. Lei, you see, is of the bloodline of Aranas, one of the greatest birds ever to grace in the Guardian stable. The new man in my homeland would give his right arm to us when I lay his eggs. Gods, I should have foreseen this. Let's give chase at once. Hold your truck loads, look lot. The egg thieves from Ishgard, like you say. Why'd you go running off toward Tantara Deepcroft? Unless I got me that little map upside down, that's the opposite direction. Well, yes. But he may seek to lay a false trail, or, uh... Ah! The wife is not important. Lay his egg is all that matters. Adventure, I beg of you. Hunt the scoundrel down and take back what he stole. Well, at least he ain't planning on chasing after him himself, wherever he's got from. He may work wonders with our birds, Audrey. The acts of Darren do ain't exactly our field. Don't mind, we'll leave that end of things to you. Okay. I thought you may catch... The thief on the road to the Tantara Greek Road, but do be careful. Not be certain if he is working alone in this. You say that, and then he's not going to be working alone. If you didn't say that, I would only have to take care of him. They would probably be scared and be like, You're taking and didn't mean to. But, you know, that's how games go. If you say something, it's going to happen. If you say something's not going to happen, it's going to happen. Just, your best bet, don't talk. Oh no, not scores of diorites. Jeez, do I have to go all the way there? Damn. Well, I guess in some form it's not all that big of a distance. Probably should have looked at the map before I ran, but... Well, if anything, I can just return, probably return or whatever to Bent Branch, teleport or return either way. Besides, I hate this place. If I can't run under those things, they're obviously people sized, except Rogadins. Not Rogadins sized. Oh boy, look what I see. I see glowing. It's glowing. Um, that's a Moogle. Why is there a Moogle over there? A Moogle is not an Elizin. Kuplu Kapo. Erish in the Kupla Kop? Commence battle for Leia's legacy. If your level is above 18, it will be seen.
Google. I have caught you at last, you spiteful imp. Now hand over the egg. You can't have it, Koopa. This egg belongs to the lot. Oh, and hello, and he's bloody fury are you. Ah, oh, the Sops at Bank Branch hired themselves an adventure, didn't they? Do you really want to try this? Yet another complication. This first has gone on long enough. Kill the Moogle and the farmer's hireling and bring you that damned egg. You know, for the most part, they're not supposed to be able to see the Moogles, right? I guess I should kill ads. Oh god, I'm hurting. Why do things hurt? Oh, I have a healer back here, do I? With that name, I would have thought he was a paladin. Is the Moogle healing me? I don't know. He's carrying a little staff, so I'm guessing yes. It's at least casting stone. Yeah, it's casting. It likes me. It trusts me. But seriously, why did you... Why would a Moogle reveal itself to these guys? And I guess because the egg is physical and... He wants to protect the egg. Ugh, she's tougher than she looks. Yeah, well, you're soon going to be deader than you look right now. I'm going to have to heal myself. I don't trust the Moogle to heal me. So I only trust me as a healer. You'll feel this one, you often occur. And wi you're winning, Koopa. Look out, he's up to something extra nasty, Koopa. Is he? I couldn't tell. Well, Lisa's trying to bullshit it's going my way. Whoa, I wonder what that debuff is. The world may never know. I guess it might be a buff. Duty complete. That's kind of odd. The egg was looked like it should have been interactable in the battle. Thank you, Koopo. What's that, Koopa? How did I come to be out here? Oh, well, this egg here is Leia's. Leia's is a very special truck in case you didn't know. Anyways, I was having a nap in the stables and that nasty fellow crept in and tried to steal it, Koopo. So I snatched it up as quickly as I could and made a run for it. I was planning to take it back to Vent Branch Mouse myself. It might be safer if you didn't. I'm sure Luke Lob will be very happy to see you, Koopo. Yeah, I'm gonna sell this on eBay. 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 Yeah, okay, so we're teleporting. Ew. I have a free 50k, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you again, person that gave that to me. You didn't really need to. So, let's go run up here and hopefully they'll send me back to Gridania or somewhere more fun. Do you have the egg? Is it safe? Um, you must deliver this egg adventure. It's our only hope. Really? Oh, it's Leia's egg. 
Ugh. God damn it. Yes, yeah, it has the right coloring the right way. It's most definitely lay his egg. I know not how to thank you. You have a Moogle to thank, too. Had me worried for a bit there, Audrey. It's good to see you and the egg back safe and sound. So I was correct in my assumption that an guardian was involved, albeit one who did not, in fact, make off with the egg. Well, I could hardly have anticipated the intervention of a Moogle. Look at me, it couldn't be the same one, could it? Might you, might you have encountered an unlikely savior before, Kifa? Could be, I. One saved my hide back when the calamity struck. I was in part of what, what we now call standing courses that day. It seemed like the whole bleeding forest was ablaze and I couldn't see a yawn in front of me for old smoke. Well, not giving up hope I had. Then, all of a sudden, a moogle appears out of nowhere, tugs at me small and sleeve, and leads me straight to a bit of woods where the fire hadn't taken hold. Now you know why the business is named Moogle's Gift Mounts. Seemed like the least I could do. I'd be dead if it weren't for that plucky little bugger. Incredible. It may well be that the Moogle has stood vigil over us since that day. Huh. You better get back to work, then. Wouldn't want to go down our garden angel down, would we? Audrey, you have our thanks. Oh, and I believe Lookalot wants to give you a little something for your troubles. Goddamn right. Like, the egg to sell on eBay. Lay's egg is irreplaceable. I cannot well express to you the depth of my gratitude. Yet I find that I am still troubled. What is the whole regret of what happened to them? What was it? I bore witness to a sight that greatly concerned me. Did you? Did you really? Hmm, this one has sockets. Wait, what did that? Hunter Green die. Something said house something die. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, it's a cow. It's enough to make me one. Yeah, I might as well. For now. Taking it back to town, which I know what I would buy then. Or equip then, or whatever. Dread is in the air. Look how it appears to be in need of assistance. I mean, thanks for your kindness earlier. I hate to pose again, but I have need of your assistance in another matter. One of grave import, I fear. Of late, I've noticed the exotic dirigibles have been appearing over the tolls with increasing regularity. Frequency, however, does not bother me near as much as where they choose to fly. The patch of sky directly above the guardian tree. The tree is a sacred site, or so I was given to believe when I first came to Gridania. Thus, I had naturally assumed that the Elenos would not suffer the exile to profane it. Yet the burden had been coming and going as they pleased, with nary a sign of protest from the guardians of the Tall Void. And it was that which set me to thinking. Ever since the appearance of the much talked about suspicious individual, many and more strange things have been occurring in the forest. Could it be that he did something to the elementals? In case it proved useful, I've committed details of my signings to parchment, and as he delivered the document to Mother Mew. Please make all haste, I have an irrepressible feeling that something terrible is about to happen. Okay. We will go deliver this to me. Oh, and hey, I'm back in town. I can actually go get gear I want. Also, I can do the level 15 job or class quest. Please, this way. What am I thinking? Now, of course, that wouldn't be open yet. Why would I ever think it would be? Hello there, Audrey. Word of your tireless efforts at Pen French Mouse has reached my ears. Folks there have not put the highest praise for you. You certainly have a knack for making Mother proud. Keep up the good work, you hear? Hmm, a letter? From Lothala? I haven't decided thinking what this could be about. Oh. Look at her. Did you just see her eyes change? That's like... I don't think I've seen that in the game at all like that. It's so sudden. Gods be good. I have a mission for you, Audrey. 
so I say it is urgent. Fear may also prove dangerous, however, so you must be prepared. Make what arrangements you can and report back to me the moment you are ready. Okay. And we'll do so in the next episode. This has been Theolair. I hope you enjoyed, and have fun.